Todd here. Welcome to this episode of the All Things Adobe podcast. In this episode, you'll learn how to format text from an external file or basically use ActionScript to format a text field. It doesn't matter if it's from an external file or not. If you're following along, probably the best thing to do is to watch the external text movie that I recorded and set up your file like that because I have text loading from an external file and scrollable with a scroll bar. I'm going to test the movie right now to show you what I have so far. Press command, Control Enter or Command Return on the Mac to test the movie. And this is just the same file we ended with, with in the external text movie. All right, so let's close the preview window and look at how to format this text. Before we close the window, just notice that the text is Times New Roman and it's uh, 12 pixels. You have to trust me on that one because it might not look like 12 pixels on your screen. So let's close the preview window. Select the first keyframe in the Actions layer and open up the Actions panel by pressing F9 or Option F9 on the Mac. Now you don't have to do this at the very bottom. Typically, uh, you want to keep all your variable definitions at the top, functions towards the middle, and stuff that happens automatically at the very bottom of your code. Uh, but just for simplicity's sake, I'm keeping everything at the bottom so we don't have to jump around in, in a whole bunch of different lines of code. All right, so I'm at the bottom of the code here, so let's create a variable. And to format a text field, you need to use something called the text format class. You can also format text using CSS. That's cascading style sheets. The only thing about CSS and Flash is that you can only use CSS1 specifications. If you want to learn about using CSS and Flash, do a search on the style sheet class. That's style and then sheet with capital S's in Flash Help, and you can find out how to use CSS in Flash. All right, so we create a variable. I'm going to call my variable TF, data type it to text format, and we'll set that equal to a new instance of the text format class. And that is new space text format, capital T and capital F, open and close parentheses and a semicolon. Go to the next line, type TF, and then a dot. And we're just going to set some very, very basic text formatting just to see how it works. Type font and this refers to the font of the text so type space equals space and font is in a string of text. We have like Arial and everything the fonts aren't numbers or variables so it's a string of text so we're going to type Arial in quotes and fonts also start with a capital letter. Just like that. So after the quotes, type a semicolon, go to the next line, type tf dot, and I'm just going to change the size. Size, we'll set that equal to something nice and big and obvious, 24, and then a semicolon. And just to keep it simple and keep it fast, that's all we'll do. If you want to look at more text properties or text format properties that you could set, just type tf and then a dot and just take a look at them. You can also select the text format text. I'll show you how that works. I'm going to select where it says text format in my code. Press F1 on the keyboard and flash help will pop up and tell you how to set text format and what values you can put in. Alright, so after you set all your text format properties, you can set color if you want. Let's go to the very bottom of the code and then we're just going to associate the text format with the text field on the stage. So type external underscore txt dot and now this really cool feature in ActionScript 3.0 is called default text format and that will set the default formatting for the text anytime there's new text or if there's already text in the text field to be whatever format you specify here. So this is really cool. So type default text format and the T and F in text format are capitalized space equals space and then the text format name which is just tf and a semicolon and that is how to set the default text format of a text field and really that's all there is to it if you press control enter or command return on the mac you can test the movie and see the text formatting fonts nice and big 24 pixels and it's arial cake and there we go that's how to format text in a text field using actionscript Man